Hello, welcome to ShropshireStar.com. My name's Johnny Drury. We're here back at the Montgomery Waters Meadow for the latest uh, edition in our Salop season review. I'm alongside Shrewsbury correspondent for the Shropshire Star, Ollie Westbury. And we're going to talk, Ollie, now about the, the midfielders. Now, the one sort of mainstay, well, they've all been really mainstays because they've played an awful lot of games, but he's been talked about so many times this season. I know you've waxed lyrical about him, and a lot of people have. Steve Cottrell has as well, like he has with a lot of his players, but... So Captain Marvel, Luke Lee, he got the armband at the start of last season and he's arguably been, you, know, you have to say, for many supporters, would be the player of the season. Picked up awards at the end of season um, presentation and the goals that he scored, you know, what a, what a season he's had. Yeah, I mean, he's absolutely cleaned up for the second year running at the uh, Shrewsbury Town Awards night just a couple of weeks ago. Um, Luke Lee has been sensational, really. I think there's no other, wor no other words to describe him. Um, you know, he gets around the pitch so well, he's got an eye for goal, he's, he takes good set pieces, he kind of he's just he's just an he's just an excellent footballer. Um, how he's adjusted to life as a central midfielder, having signed for the club as a left wing back is, you know, something else that's, you know, kind of exceptional to be able to adjust your position at twenty nine, um, or twenty eight, however old he was at that point, he's thirty now. So yeah, I mean Luke Lee has been he's been absolutely terrific in midfield. Career best tally for him for the season, I think it's twelve goals he ended up with. I'd have to double check that, but it's around that it's around that number. And uh, yeah, he will he deserves his summer rest because he's run himself into the ground for the team and for the cause. So he deserves that rest that he's gonna get. And as a captain, you know, he's taken the armband, I'm sure he's been a leader for, for much of his career, but he seems to have sort of thrived in that environment. You know, the players talk about him as a as a leader, sort of driving Salapon, that's made a huge difference. Hasn't it? Yeah, of course, yeah. He's been an he's been a, an excellent captain. Um, when uh, when the players, when his teammates talk about him, they always say I think that's the highest honour that you can get in sport. It's probably not really getting the a kind of the fans, it's when you it's when your teammates, it's when your teammates kind of you know, appreciate you and kind of know how good you are, and you know the way his teammates talk about him is a real, you know, he'd be something that he'd be really, really pleased with. Two guys in there who've done exceptionally well this season have been uh, two loanees as well, really. You know, Sarp have really used the loan market well. Carl Winchester came in from Sunderland, and then in January, Killian Phillips came in just on on Winchester to start with. Both, well, both of them have been, you know, exceptional and really played their part in this. You know, Sarp finishing in the, in the top half. Yeah, I mean, Winchester kind of came in from Sunderland, didn't he, on a deadline day in the summer. Um, and, you know, he probably, he, he's quite neat and tidy with the ball, but I suppose what he actually does is it's the tackling that he does, sitting at the, but it, probably the deeper of the, the, the midfielders for a lot of the time. And it, it's the hard yards and the hard yakka that he kind of, he, he puts in, breaking up play, kind of retaining the ball. He's probably not too adventurous on it, doesn't, probably doesn't go forward too much, but he keeps hold of it. Um, and you know, and that, on those games where Shrewsbury really, really chased the ball and played a lot without the ball, you always kind of felt that Carl Winchester was the man um, who really drove them. Who has good legs. Um, he had half a yard. I remember him sprinting down the touchline at Forest Green early on in the season and uh, kind of surprising everybody. But you know, Carl Winchester was will, will be very pleased. He's come to Shrewsbury after being in like a promotion winning Sunderland side last season. And he's kind of come to Shrewsbury, and you know, I think he'd be really pleased in his work. In terms of the other loanee we spoke about there, Killian Phillips came in yeah. January from, from Crystal Palace. You always want your, it's always hit and miss in January, it's a tough window. You know, yeah. you always want your January signings to sort of give you that little bit of extra, and, and Phillips has cert certainly done that. Yeah, I mean, Phillips has been an outstanding outstanding addition to the, to the team, really, hasn't he? As, a, as an energetic um, midfielder, eye for a goal, he's just been. He's been outstanding. The players have spoken so highly about him since his arrival from, from Crystal Palace very early on in January. Um, he's been absolutely looks absolutely fully committed to the cause when he's played. For a loan, he is like a real exceptional, um, an exceptional like attribute to have. He's been, he really has been a, a wonderful addition. Um, and that, and and you know, I think people would mind me saying that probably Killian Phillips's future probably will be quite far up the food chain we would expect. Finally on the midfielders, Tom Bayliss. You know, we've spoken about loan signings. Tom Bayliss was another permanent like Jordan Shifley. He came in last year. I know the, the, the two played together previously, I think at Coventry. Um, that flair player, the guy in, in behind the front man who sort of makes things tick and for large parts of the season, Bayliss has certainly done that. Yeah, Bayliss 
Bayliss, it's a shame that he got picked up his injury. The one thing that Bayliss did is just at, re at really important moments. I can remember um, Fleetwood away, you know, MK Dons right in the last second. He just showed that, that, that bit of quality that you kind of need to get you over the line. He bent that one in the top corner at Fleetwood with his left foot. He kind of slotted one past the MK Dons keeper in like the 90th minute to kind of give him the lead um, at, at MK Don Stadium. So he's just got that bit. He's got that bit of something. There's just something about him that he's got. He's got that bit of, and, and they missed him when they didn't have it. He kind of carried the ball like in a silky way, and he'd bring it forward for the team. And, and they kind of just missed that little bit of, you know, that, that bit of something for those last ten games of when they are up against it. That he'd be able to carry it forward and then be fouled probably on the halfway line and kind of get them out, get them out, you know, get them away from goal. But Bayliss was. Basically, had a, had, a, had a good start, and you, you really missed him when he wasn't there. They really did miss him.